when our, our next contributor was asked for a biography so that I could introduce him, his answer was typically modest. Ah, people don't want to know about me. So, here to talk about and to introduce some of the East Sutherland Rota Kids groups is longtime Rotarian, golfer, raconteur, and Scotland's answer to Basil Faulty, the incomparable Mr. Alistair Risk. Over to you, Alistair. Thanks very much, Alistair. Uh, good afternoon, fellow Rotarians and friends. <clears throat> Many of you know me, but for those lucky enough to have avoided me in the past, I am the said Alistair Risk, President of East Sutherland. I'm the Youth Support Officer for Areas 1 and 2, and while I have maintained my youthful good looks and enthusiasm, I have been a Rotarian since 1969, and I'm so old, I am the average age of the UK average Rotarian, i.e. I'm 76. No wonder we have an image problem, as our Australian friend Mr Hiddleston had to suggest earlier today. Standing on a stage and speaking has never been a problem for me, but having to use technology is another matter. So please forgive me if I impersonate Mr Bean, or if you're old enough, Mr Pastry, and if everything falls apart about me today. As today, I and some virtual friends are with you to talk about Rotary Kids and how the youngest members of the Rotary family can change the image of Rotary and revitalise your clubs across the north of Scotland and perhaps beyond. Like almost every traditional Rotary club up here in Sutherland, we were struggling to attract members. Our average age was actually comfortably over 75. We had 20 members, but only two lady members. Many members were aging and unwell, and certainly struggling to contribute physically. Indeed, Rotary was our social club and our self or mutual care outlet. And in the last five years, many of those members have retired from Rotary, gone into care homes, or joined the Rotary Club of Heaven. But today, our club has almost 40 members. The members are 50% ladies and 50% men. The average age is under 55, ranging from 26 to 78. Do you not wish that your club had those statistics? Fellow Rotarians, this was no accident. Our club's growth, our improved gender balance, our rediscovered vitality all came about deliberately. And thanks to a recipe that perhaps the hairy bikers would be proud of. The ingredients. One cup of recognition that change was needed. A cup of determination and willingness. Handfuls of goodwill and community awareness a cup of understanding that children were our future, a cup of knowing that schools need support, a handful of willing teachers, a kilo of Facebook and public relations, gallons of fun and satisfaction, and a pinch of magic, all mixed together in a huge bowl of opportunity and sweetened by primary school children and stirred carefully and lovingly then nurtured and matured over a year or two. What am I talking about? Well, you know, it's that most satisfying dish, the high energy diet, the lifeblood and in, the lifeblood enhancing protein supplement, the catalyst for change, that is Rota Kids. Something that my club has dined, dined upon for several years and that I hope most other clubs will taste in the year ahead. Not talk about it, we're good at that, but actually do it. So now it's my job to satisfy your desire for more, to help you achieve change through adopting Rotakids. So what are Rotakids? Rotakids are primary school children, normally aged from 10 to 11, but in smaller schools, they may be younger. Every school in Scotland 
must follow the curriculum for excellence. And that includes experiencing and teaching community spirit, understanding and appreciation, environment issues and projects, health and caring for others, interpersonal skills and support, supporting others, business organization skills and personal development. And the schools must demonstrate that they have community support and interaction. What do Rotary kids do? Just like any Rotary club, they develop administrative and interpersonal skills. They develop a team spirit. They care for and they interact with their community. They want to save the planet. They learn to think about others and less about themselves. But why should you believe me? Here are some, school, some short videos where the teachers and others share their experiences. Hi, I'm Dawn McKenzie, the head teacher at Brora and Helmsdale Primary Schools. About six years ago, Alistair Risk came to me with the idea of Brora Primary being the first Rota Kids group in Sutherland. I was worried about taking on another initiative, another ask of the class teachers, but I now wholeheartedly sing the praises of Rota Kids to any school. The structure and the ethos behind it is perfect. Perfect for schools to pick up. Pupils and teachers love the way the meetings are done, the agenda, the posts they can apply for, but the overall umbrella that they are all important Rota Kids. They like bringing the bell as well. Before Rota Kids, we did have some established community events like Macmillan Coffee Morning and Brora Beach Clean that made us part of our village. But with our Rota Kids hearts on, that is now seen as being part of a structure showing the value and importance of self, of community and of more global issues like polio and Mary's Meals. It builds confidence and interpersonal skills with pupils, it's intergenerational and it gives a real sense of belonging and progression. Through Rota Kids and the Rotary, we have been part of garden parties at Dunrobin Castle, village fetes, invited to speak at local Rotary meetings, and most knee-knocking of all to speak at the Rotary Conference in Aviemore a few years ago. Even after that, public speaking not being my thing, I 100% recommend Rota Kids to schools and Rotarians alike. You give so much to us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shelley Taylor, the Primary 6-7 teacher at Helmsel Primary School. Along with the help of Rotarian Linda Graham, I am responsible for running the Rota Kids group in Helmstill. With the help of Alistair, Fiona and all the other Rotary crew. I've had links with Rotary for about nine years now, where I did my probationary year in Brora Primary School and helped set up the Mary's Meals initiative. During my time at Helmstill, one of the most memorable events was a beach clean to raise awareness of plastic pollution. Uh, it spurred on the creation of eco bricks and something quite big on plastic pollution and some work uh, researching David Attenborough and nerdles and cool things like that. The kids got really into it. I've got some good photos in the slides to follow. We've also done many other things, all of which tie in nicely with Curriculum for Excellence in the four capacities, especially encouraging the pupils to be effective contributors and responsible citizens. During lockdown, naturally, things were trickier, um, but we still managed to write to the elderly and look out for people in our community. Our most recent activity has been a Lucky Square fundraiser to aware raise awareness for diabetes, as we have two Rota kids in our class with type 1. Anyway, instead of listening to me, please enjoy looking at some photos of Helms.
Hi, I'm Shelley Taylor, the Primary 6-7 teacher at Helmsall Primary School. Along with the help of Rotarian Linda Graham, I am responsible for running the Rota Kids group in Helmsdale. With the help of Alistair, Fiona and all the other Rotary crew. I've had links with Rotary for about nine years now, where I did my probationary year in Brora Primary School and helped set up the Mary's Meals initiative. During my time at Helmsdale, one of the most memorable events was a beach clean to raise awareness of plastic pollution. Uh, it spurred on the creation of Eco Bricks and something quite big on plastic pollution and some work uh, researching David Attenborough and nerdles and cool things like that. The kids got really into it. I've got some good photos in the slides to follow. We've also done many other things, all of which tie in nicely with Curriculum for Excellence in the four capacities, especially encouraging the pupils to be effective contributors and responsible citizens. During lockdown, naturally, things were trickier, um, but we still managed to write to the elderly and look out for people in our community. Our most recent activity has been a Lucky Square fundraiser to aware raise awareness for diabetes, as we have two Rota kids in our class with type 1. Anyway, instead of listening to me, please enjoy looking at some photos of Helmstall Primary Rota kids in action. Hello, I was asked by Alistair just to say a little bit um, about Rota Kids and the Rotary Club and everything they do for a primary school up in the Highlands. So last year I taught primary seven and the opportunities that the Rotary Club provided um, was brilliant. We planted crocuses in the village um, we packed over 100 shoe boxes for Mary's Meals to send to the children in Eastern Europe. It also gave the children an opportunity to be responsible and find things at home they no longer needed to bring in and pack to put in the boxes for other children to enjoy. Um, we also started to build some bunk hotels before lockdown, which the children loved. Um, we were using our technical skills and learning how to use and be safe with tools, which was thanks to the Rotary Club, because they came in and helped us with that. Um, we also um, planned and designed some hedgehog houses, which then um, one of the Rotary Club, club members um, built. Um, we raised money for polio by taking part in the swimathon that was organised by the Rotary Club. Um, but our most successful event was probably the Macmillan Coffee Morning at the start of um, the P7's year. Um, that was a fantastic opportunity for the P7's to be leaders and be responsible in their community, which we encourage at P7 before they go into high school. They were serving tea, coffee, cake, and they managed to raise £500 thanks to the community and the Rotary Club, which they were so proud of and as was the whole school. 
Um, we also held a wee movie night to help raise money for our school trip, which we had organised. Unfortunately, we couldn't go on it because of um, COVID. But um, we had crisps, juice and everything that the P7s could provide people that came to the movie with. Um, and they had to obviously plan the event as well, which gave them lots of leadership roles. Um, at the start of Rotary, um, at the start of P7, uh, they got to pick the president, the vice president, the secretary and the treasurers of the Rota kids um, to help them, that leadership roles would help them prepare for high school as well. And to be proud of themselves and give them a role in Rota kids when they came to visit every week. Um, the Rotary Club provides so many opportunities for the children in a small village to raise money and to be part of a community that provides lifelong experiences which can benefit their future. So thank you to the Rotary Club for taking the time to do this with the children and hopefully we'll be able to start this again next session to make up for everything we've missed because of Covid. So thank you very much. Bye. So there you have it. Uh, those are the opinions of the people that really matter and make it work. But what difference did it make and what projects have they done? Some have already been mentioned. But our Rota Kids and our little club up here in the north, we run seven Rota Kids clubs in all the small villages up and down the coast and so on. They've cleaned beaches and parks. They've campaigned against plastic. They've filled thousands of shoe boxes. They've planted thousands of trees and run vegetable gardens. They've made bird feeders, bug hotels, and hedgehog motels. I even have one in my garden and a resident hedgehog now. They've walked for polio and swum for polio. They've raised this year £6,000 towards playground furniture in one of the schools. They've run the coffee mornings and coupled with those concerts for the elderly. And they've done a hundred things that Rotary should have or could have done had they been doing what, what they would normally do uh, or what they would desire to do, but didn't have the manpower to do it. Our club is now known as the club that supports young people. Our Facebook and newspaper photos show a vibrant mix of all ages. Our image is far from being old men having supper or lunch. We are seen to be relevant. If, we want, if you want to see our club grow, your club, your club grow and think Rota Kids may help. If you want to experience the joy of working with children, I and others in district are here to help. I will send you handbooks and leaflets. If you ask, I and the others will visit and speak to your club, whether it's virtually or when we get back to face to face. Or we can, or you can, like all good traditional clubs, perhaps turn a deaf ear and like so many clubs, leave it until it's too late. However, on a positive note, I'm going to leave you. But I'm going to leave you with one last video from Brora Primary. It shows a skill that they've learned during lockdown, a skill that helps others, and a song that could or should be the Rotarian's anthem.
you very much, Alistair, the teachers and, and pupils from the Rota Kids in, in East Sutherland. I really hope that gives clubs some encouragement to start Rota Kids clubs in their area too. Um, as Alistair said, I'm sure he'd be delighted to come along and uh, show you all how it's done. So, so well done, Alistair. Thank you very much for, for today. My pleasure. We're getting near the end of things now, um, but I have a short video to show you. We decided that what we really needed was a celebration of the year. So we've collected together some photos from every club possible in District 1010 and put them together into a short video as a celebration of the year and of everything we achieve in our communities and the communities overseas too. Uh, so as they say on the telly, roll the VT.
thank you very much, Christy, for your work in putting that together. That was fantastic. Um, yeah, Rotarians, ordinary people who do extraordinary things. And uh, I think we should be using that video an awful lot more just to, to show the public exactly what we're up to. Um, just before we finish, I'd like to ask Conference Chair John Johnson to say a few words about next year's conference. Over to you, John. Thank you, Alistair. Uh, hello, everybody. I've changed my background. As you notice, the town art of Glenrothes isn't all concrete mushrooms and hippos. No, on the, the 18th of June next year, 2022, we'll be in Glenrothes, so it'll be full of Rotarians. Lots of us there celebrate what we do best. We're uh, celebrating the, the theme for next year, which is serve to change lives, and we are making Rotary relevant. So really looking forward to a couple of social events around it as well. 18th of June, 2022. Thank you very much for listening. See you there. Thanks very much, John. Um, for the last few years, I've been working in the conference team, and normally there's quite a number of people involved. Uh, stewards, House of Friendship, reception staff, treasurer, registrar, secretary, etc., etc., all led by our fantastic conference chair, John Johnson. This year, John has had a much smaller team to work with. Uh, no stewards, no House of Friendship, no reception, no treasurer, only himself and a secretary stroke registrar, but really no less work for John. And as always, He's led us with patience and good nature, allowing us to suggest and propose, but always making the professional and sensible decision. And John has been ably assisted and pestered by someone who is probably more talented than she'll ever realise, uh, my daughter and Rotarian Christie. So my unending thanks go to the two of them for pulling this together today, for organising, for coming up with speakers and making sure that the day went as smoothly as possible. Uh, John, I promise as soon as possible we'll get together so I can shake your hand and properly thank you for everything that you've done. Christy, I'll see you soon for a, a big hug. Um, thanks also to, to Ken and Heather who have worked behind the scenes today and keeping everything running smoothly on the technical side. Um, and also look at, keep an eye on the chat for us, and also to all our contributors, all the people who have made films and spoken at today's conference, it has been absolutely brilliant. And to bring the conference to a close, we have one final pre-recorded piece of very fitting music, which I hope you all enjoy. It features Rotarians John Conroy, Adrian Blake and Colin Reid, fellow Rotarians, to finish the day, we have the Granite City Chorus.
Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. That's the end of the conference. Thank you and goodbye. Well done, Alistair. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Alistair. Brilliant conference. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Thanks, Alistair. Thank you. Good one, Alistair. Well, well done. done. Cheers. Well done, guys. That was brilliant. Thank you. Hi, Paul. Great stuff. Thank you, Alistair. Uh, great day. Well done. Thank you.